what would you look out for in a student or a trainee before you take them on and say, okay, come train under me? What is it that you would look out for? So, um, um, photography uh, has two parts. One is absolute technical part. So one part has uh, things like the lenses that you use, the megapixels that you're working on, Photoshop, uh, applications, how to download files. So you have to know all this stuff. You have to have the idea of how to, what is a TIFF file, what is a JPEG file. So there is a lot, lot to learn in the technical sense in photography, especially after uh, it has become digital. The other aspect of uh, photography is that I would want, uh, if I am, if I am, if I were to choose an assistant for my thing, and if I think uh, that the person is promising, I would say yes, technical knowledge, yes. Uh, and when you say technical knowledge, the ability to adapt to technical knowledge very fast because things are changing very, very fast. So you have to. You can't just rest and say, okay, now I've learned this and it's over. No, after six months, things are going to change. Uh, the way we work is going to change. So a lot of things are going to change. Uh, one is that. The other aspect is the personal aspect. Uh, can they express themselves? Photography is about expression. Photography is about capturing a certain moment. Now, the difference between a photojournalist or a wedding photographer and a photographer who's an advertising photographer is that we, we create an environment. They capture an environment. So they will go somewhere, they will see a good picture, they will shoot it. For us, we, we put it in our memory and then we create that environment. We, we use models, we use characters, we use people uh, and we uh, we make an advertising campaign by doing that. For example, if you say a Coca-Cola campaign, if you have seen on my bands, uh, I, I had the challenge of shooting uh, all um, different couples from different parts of India. So one was South India, one was uh, North India, uh, Punjabi couple, Gujarati couple. And you have to know, you have to do the research, you have to, you have to say, okay, no, this looks technically wrong. Or you, if you have seen how North India or a Delhi culture is or Punjab culture is or a Haryana culture is or a Marathi culture is, you have to observe, you have to see these things, you have to see their reactions and you have to ask the model. So you're like a, like a conductor, like you are the one who's, you're like the captain of the ship and everybody's looking at you. If something, even if it starts raining, they'll look at you like, oh, why is it raining? You know? So it's, it is a job that is, uh, that is like, that has a lot of responsibility. And I think I would say people uh, who don't succumb under pressure, people who have good technical skills, who can adapt to technical skills very fast. Um, thirdly, they should have, they, they cannot just sit in a room and just do technical stuff and become photographers. They have to have a vision or a fantasy or an idea Ideas are very, very important to become a photographer. It's almost 70% idea. So when I joined Pradeep Das Gupta, I, being like I was from an advertising background, but I didn't know what advertising photography actually was. And I entered the studio and there was this tall, handsome guy who just said, yes. And he put his, you know, specs down and said, yes. I was like, hi, I'm Charudha Chitra. He said, yeah, sit. He asked me if I had done some images and he saw my, uh, I, he asked me, have you done anything in photography? So I proudly took out this thing that I had made with Coke cans and all that stuff. And, you know, tried to make some amazing image, image out of it. And he just flipped through them like, like it was garbage. So he just flipped through them. He put it on the side and he said, uh, ye sab to do you have some black and whites to show me? Something really more than just this. So for me, it was so strange that 
of course he was he's a great photographer and he's uh, when he looks at my work uh, he just flips through it my ego was a little hurt but i was like okay all right he's still a big photographer and he looks at my work and he throws it and says uh, ye to char aane ka kaam hai main bhi karta hu i didn't understand the main bhi karta hu part you know and uh, later i realized what he meant was that uh, just working for clients is not enough you photography is a creative field it cannot you cannot switch your mind on and you cannot switch your mind off because even if you go out for dinner with your friends you're looking at the lighting you're looking at the ambiance you're looking at things so once a photographer once an advertising photographer or even a photographer then till the day you die your vision your eyes you are always looking at images and that becomes a part of your life and he also told me uh when i told him that you know i i am i can't think right I, i mean i was giving him excuses because i didn't want to do the work so i was telling him dada abhi mera aaj kal na mera dimag nahi chal raha so he asked me ki uh, did you do anything else uh uh in the one week that you had the free time you had did you do anything else so i said uh, i didn't have money to because at that time you had roles so he said i didn't have the money i told him i didn't have the money to buy roles so he said did you go and watch theater did you go and read a book did you do did you do anything and he said you know to become a photographer you should have a life beyond photography you have to see the world you have to read books you have to see a theater a film interact with people and that's what you imitate in your uh, like you you try and imitate that and create that and so those were very those are the challenges i'm still fighting technically yes there were there are always challenges you know and everybody uh, has their own secrets technical stuff and you 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 manage to get over that but these are things which a mentor tells you and that guru shishya thing really works in photography and feels like photography especially in india where we haven't had very good photography schools to teach you basics of photography you can go to an art college but then that is only 10% is photography you know rest you have to do it on your own you have to work under somebody you have to really work hard for 2 3 years you know carry bags lights do that and um, yeah that's how your journey starts as a photographer so what did we learn from this video today one we learned that ideas and expression are critical they are about 70% of what you are doing so where do you get these ideas from you get it from observation and a nuanced sensitivity to the people and the context around you and that means you need to have exceptional people skills because you are managing a team you are managing models you are managing many many things and you need to have a genuine interest in people to make it all through together which also means you need to be cool as a cucumber so go on start practicing those meditation and deep breathing skills today and remember if you want to be a photographer you need to continuously learn adapt and enjoy the journey that's all from us in this video today see you next time